Advocates are welcoming U.S. President Barack Obama's expansion of plans to cut emissions from coal-burning power plants. They say it has the potential to significantly, significantly cut America's overall greenhouse gas levels. Daniel Wrenches has more. We are very grateful for the Citing the overwhelming consensus of mainstream scientific opinion House, about the reality of climate change and its future impacts, President Obama has a plan to target currently unregulated American coal-burning power plants. We limit the amount of toxic chemicals like mercury and sulfur and arsenic in our air or our water, but power plants can still dump unlimited amounts of carbon pollution into the air for free. That's not right, that's not safe, and it needs to stop. Obama's new proposals add pressure on the coal industry, which is struggling to compete with other forms of energy. The proposed plan is drawing strong criticism from Republicans who say Obama is declaring a so-called war on coal. Declaring a war on coal is tantamount to declaring a war on jobs. It's tantamount to kicking the ladder out from beneath the feet of many Americans struggling in today's economy. The president has also approved the process to allow public lands to be used by private firms, developing renewable energy to power what he hopes will be six million homes by 2020. During Obama's first term, his attempt to reduce emissions with a carbon trading system was knocked down by Congress. This January, the president promised to use his more limited executive power if lawmakers didn't act. He's certainly going to face political resistance uh, and political risks, but these are risks that he has to take to save us all from the, the greater risks of rising climate impacts. The president has now directed the country's chief environmental regulator, the Environmental Protection Agency, to develop a set of standards for new and existing power plants with feedback from states, power companies and other stakeholders. And depending on the strength of those standards, there is now the possibility of America meeting its international pledge of cutting carbon emissions by 17 percent of 2005 levels by its target date of 2020. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.